I want to walk you through this point from the Belgian U24s. It's by far my favourite of all the points in their streamed game versus Wall City and La Fotta. This is the first break by the D-line in a run of three which takes them to universe against the Italians, who are undoubtedly one of the strongest open teams in Europe. It's a massive statement for a U24 team, so come out and challenge them in this way. I think the kind of theme of this point is resilience. When you watch these one-to-one -one matchups, you can see the Belgians slipping around, getting marks out and having such a hard time getting free, plus the Italians are throwing in poachers to try and cause further problems. For a clip that Hive is talking about, the possession has a pretty high average time of possession, with a large percentage of cuts failing to provide the throw with an open option, but they just kind of squeak by anyway. And after I do a traditional analysis of this point, I'm going to point out a specific thing that the Belgians do that shows how great their chemistry is together. Amazing save by Lander de Kran, showing this D-line spirit. The possession starts with Lander de Kran skying Pavan. Pavan retracts a strip call and the possession gets underway. De Kran doesn't quite fancy the wide pass, it's quite long and would trap the receiver on the sideline, so he looks for something else. He should break the mark and get the disc to call too, but instead locks in on Dan Desmarais, who jinx and jives, finally getting free for the around break. I think De Krana goes for the option because at the static stoppage, De Marais is free. It's the good work of Gasparini who initiates the switch of Rossi to cover De Marais that makes this a tricky situation from the first pass. De Marais pumps the deep shot and then threads the pass through to call two. Again, amazing switching and poaching from Gasparini, who switches to cover the under threat, leaving Cortu free because the defender is trailing so far behind. When Damare hits Cortu, Gasparini dives in again with a poach block and nearly swats the disc away. Lafotta played great D again, marking up the field before marking the thrower, and Cortu swings backwards. Gernat only has a swing and goes back to De Krana, who hits Cortu with a nice give a go backhand and offers a return pass. The pop back is faked and then Cortu goes over the top and Pavan almost gets revenge with a sick layout D but De Krano recovers and keeps his toes inside, as called by literally all of the sideline. Lander centres and then the pressure lets up a bit with the Belgians able to keep the disc moving at a steady rate. Finally Lander De Krano gets the disc again about 30 metres out. Desmarais makes a straight up weird over the wrong shoulder cut that just trusts the disc is going to be there. De Kran launches the flick and it's in range for Desmarais to grasp with the knee slide. Now that was exciting and all, but let me show you why I love this point. The first cut from Desmarais, every change of direction is explosive. Each step you know that if the disc goes out, he'll get there. Next when Cord 2 is poached off, he recognises this. So many ultimate players would just turn their head and clear deep here, but Cord 2 stands his ground and gestures with his hands that he's ready to be thrown the disc. Damere obliges and throws it fast enough that Cord 2 can keep his position and catch it without the defender from behind getting there first. Cord 2 can't find much and Damere tries to get free, but he recognises that he's not free and gestures by putting his hands up to communicate, don't throw this to me. When Damere doesn't get the disc, Bogart cuts in, gesturing in front to show Core 2 where he wants it. At the same time, Lander de Kran comes alive, he asks for the pop pass, and then wants the around thrown into space. When Core 2 rejects all that, Gernat offers a behind dump, pointing where he wants it, and then slowing and gesturing with a clap catch hands to encourage the pass. De Krana wants the disc back and gestures early, and is ready again for it on stall 3, and after Gernat looks away, he's ready for a dump again. Cord 2 and De Krana get in a similar situation once again. He wants the disc for the pop pass and then asks for it through the around over the top. This time Cord 2 obliges and even though the throw sucks, De Krana does the business. Another chance! Wow! Oh, great is... play by both of them! It's... Pavan first! Bogart with just a tiny clap catch gesture here. Maintaining possession. Gernat shows where he wants it when he gets separation. Lander goes wide. Then De Krana shows he wants it back. Back to De Krana in the middle. And suddenly this shot for goal, this weird back shoulder pass truly makes sense. Because the Belgians are perfectly on the same page here. When you communicate all the easy passes, you gesture the unders and the dumps, you gain trust and understanding. Then with just a wry look, both players are completely on the same page for about a 30 meter flick to the blind side. That's the beauty of the Belgians. Good luck to them, we'll be keeping a watch out to see whether they can be giant killers at the World Championships. Thanks for watching.
He goes for end zone. Has a man there. That is two breaks in a row. And the Italians might start to wonder now.